Hi guys, this is Farjana. Welcome to my another WordPress related tutorial. This video is about WordPress security. So this is very important to make your WordPress website secured and safe from hackers. So before getting started, make sure you have the SSL certificate for your website. So mainly you have three tools for your website. One is the domain name, then the hosting plan and the third is the SSL certificate and you must have to enable this SSL certificate before taking all kind of security steps. So if you still don't have the SSL certificate, go ahead to buy it now and then enable it. Or if you go to the Bluehost website using my link in the description and if you select any of the packages, you will also get a free SSL certificate. That's simple. Before going ahead, let's see why someone try to hack your website. When any hackers hack your website, they do it for different purposes. Like they want to collect some payment details information or any kind of contact information or that can be malware attacked. This is a very powerful virus attack that can destroy your whole website or whole hosting. SEO spam. They want to add some backlink from your website and it will be linked with their own website. Then they want to create free advertising. So sometimes they want to set some ads to your website if your website have tons of users or visitors and even sometimes they do it for their practice purpose or they do it just for fun. And finally they can do it to take you off. So it will down your website or everything and they can ask some money from you. All these are very terrible, you know. So this is very important to make our WordPress website make secure. Today I'm going to use a free plugin and using this free plugin we will take some main steps like we will enable two-factor authentication, we will enable the brute force attack prevention and also we will hide our login page and also we will set some more settings to secure our website. Alright, so far you see if you think this tutorial adds some value to you, please give this video a big thumbs up, otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now without any further ado, let's get started. First I am going to install a plugin for security purpose. So going to plugin and add new and searching for iTheme or iThemes security. So this is the plugin. I am going to install this one and activate. And after activating we will find a new tab security from the left corner. And here there is some steps to set up our plugin or you can skip it and then we can go one by one. So I'm going from here one by one or we can also change any settings later if we need. For now selecting the website type, this is a blog website and site type is for me. Do you want to secure your user accounts with a password policy? We can enable this one so our user's account will be also under a password policy. For now I'm just leaving it. Then here is the login security. We can enable the two-factor authentication. And then here is the lockout. We can enable the local brute force and network brute force. I will explain all this after a few moments. For now just going ahead. Then utilities. Security check pro we can enable or for now I'm just leaving it. Then user group here is some options to create different kind of users and to give them different kind of access. So for example if you have several users or if you have several admins and you want to give them some custom access you can create different kind of custom users from here. For now I'm just leaving it. I don't need different kind of users or admins and for admin here is some global settings like here is the password required a strong password we have to set a strong password and two factor skip two factor onboarding i'm enabling two factor i already enabled it before and then for next going to recommended configure settings Authorized host here I'm just adding my IP IP detection automatic going to next 
you can set a email address and here we will get notified when any brute force attack will appear to our website by default it will be linked with our admin email address or we can set a different email address for now i'm just going ahead and notifications here is the default recipient the administration user from email you can set a from email and also i'm setting this email address going ahead and here is the final overview which we set it up for now then going to secure site and finish all right so we are done with the basic setup and now if i go to settings again and from here we can go with all the steps one by one and we can set it up as we want for example here is the features here is all basic feature we can see from here here is the two factor then lockout site check we can enable it so when any file change will appear we will get notified we can also enable this one and also the utilities enforce ssl and database backup so we can also enable the backup so it will take some backup in a regular basis from this website and they will send all this backup file to your admin email address and now if i go to configure and from here we can set some basic settings like the first one this is for lockout user so before explaining this global settings for lockout we can go to specific this one lockout and from here first if i go to the local brute force and here is the login attempts so max login attempts per host 5 and max login attempts per user 10 so if any user try to log in 10 times they will be locked for 5 minutes and from any host it will be 5 times so we can change this number we can set it to 3 or 5 and the 5 minutes too we can set it to 15 minutes and saving it and then we have to set the lockout so if i go to global settings now and here is the lockout settings so from lockout we can setting some ban threshold so if any user get lockout for three times they will be banned from this website link and it will be remember for seven days and minutes to lockout after each lockout it will take 15 minutes so we can setting all this setup from here and lockout messages here is some message for lockout so we can set some ip address as authorized host or this will be in whitelist so this ip address will never be locked out or banned so this is very powerful to secure your website from hackers you must have to have all these settings and then if i check other settings like site check so we can see all the file list from our hosting and if any unexpected file changes occurs we will get notified if i go to utilities from here we can set up the database backup we can set some schedule database backup so by default it will take three times this is in days so this is the number of days between database backup and backup method email only or save also in locally so they will compress all the files and database and then it will send to your email address and also for proper backup we can use a, another extra plugin so it will be linked with your google drive or any third party web tools and again if i go to features and for two factor if i click on these settings and here is the all method recommended if i select the select manual we can see here will be three options which is the mobile app email and the third one is backup authentication code so if we want only the email so disable the mobile app and the another one and only we need the email verification for login our website we can enable the email or if you want we can enable this too also and then save it and finally there is another cool option or very important we can hide or encrypt our wp admin or login page url 
So if I go to advanced and here we will also find some more advanced feature. We can check all this. If I go to WordPress T Wix, not here, going to hide backend. So from here we can hide our backend URL. By default, we have to go to the WP admin. So type the main URL, then WP admin, and then we will go to our login page. So we can change the login URL or login slack to WP login or we can change it to my login and it will be redirected to not found if anyone try to type like WP admin or login.php. Now when I save and in this state if I logged out and now if I type WP admin and it's redirecting to the not found URL so this is the 404 page and now instead of WP admin if I type my login and it's taking me to the login page that's a very cool feature so it's also setting the two factor this is the email I'm enabling it continue and now it's sending the authentication code to my email so I also need the code to log in to my email. I have to go to log in my email and here is the code. So I need to copy and paste it and going to verify. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So we have done some very powerful settings to secure our website and our website is now mostly secured. And the final step, we can install another plugin to take our website backup automatically. So if I go to plugins and add new again, and here I'm searching for updraft. So this is the plugin updraft plus. I'm going to install this one, activate. And then from settings, we will find the updraft backups in the bottom. And here we can take some manual backup from here. And if I go to settings, from here, we can also set some automatic backup. Like here, file backups schedule, we can set some schedule. This can be daily or this can be weekly. For example, I am setting the weekly for database and files. And we can set it for two or three. So it will take last three week backup. And after four week, it will delete the last backup or we can also set it as monthly it depends on you and then we can set it with updraft vault or even we can link this backup file with dropbox or google drive or any other web tools for now if i go to google drive and here authentication with google sign in with google here we have to link the email address for Google Drive with our WordPress backup. So for example, if I linked it with my email account and click on allow and this is linked, click on complete setup. All right, now again going to settings. And after that, here is all okay. We can keep it all as it is. And here is the email notification option. So we can select it if you want. So after taking each of the backup, you will get also an email notification and finally save changes and we are done all right so we are done for today if you find this tutorial helpful give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.